what's up guys welcome back to the channel um today we are in the garage here and we're doing a, a review slash install on my harbor freight lift here uh, my harbor freight lift table i've had this thing for right at uh, i think it was about a year and a half i did my unboxing video of it and i always get questions on it it's it's been a great lift man um no problems other than the problem that i'll show you here a little bit later but um yeah as far as the materials and craftsmanship and everything everything's been great but i did develop a leak um in the pump a while ago and i didn't think nothing of it i just kept adding fluid adding fluid and adding fluid well eventually the pump start or stopped working the little jack so um i had to go through the process with harbor freight with these lifts they don't offer the pumps for sale in the store you have to call and talk to somebody and go through all that crap and it's and it's a big um ordeal it took me two or three weeks and there's two different styles of these lifts that i did not know beforehand um there's there's one here let me just show you the lift and that'll be easier all right so here's the jack and the, and this is the, the the biggest thing is the pedals um what you'll notice is is one of these lifts has rubber shoes on the pedals and the controls are con totally different on, on how this pump works one has um a different style rear mount than this one and you can see this one has a has ears at the bottom of the pump where the bolt goes through but yeah what it was is this part with the spring where you where you actually jack it um was leaking and we tried to put a new o-ring in it and it worked enough to get it up here and then it stopped working so um after a couple of weeks <laughs> sending pictures and on call with harbor freight i uh, have a brand new pump from them and what we're going to try to do is is get this guy installed and and hopefully this lift will be back to working but um yeah other than that man it's it's been a super cool lift i got the obviously the wheel chalk on it that thing's awesome you just ride right in there and it locks it down that way you can one person it and and not have to use two people um to, to lock these down but but yeah hopefully uh get that pump on there i've, I've had it off a couple times so hopefully it'll go together pretty good so we'll see i'll check i'll check with you after the install and and, and see what we got So that's it guys we got it pretty much all installed there's a couple little things i need to tighten up the big bolt in the back of the pump but 
she is all ready to start using again um but yeah i wish harbor freight made it a little easier to get those pumps um you do have to call in and and you know go through the process of ordering one of those basically over the phone so um, but all in all very impressed with this lift would buy one again i would probably make sure i bought the other uh, style of lift though so um, i have seen a couple of these have issues but we do have that other pump over there i may try to rebuild it or something to keep it as a spare um, these pumps for this one in particular is right at 50 bucks 54 bucks so not that expensive and hopefully we get another couple years uh out of this lift and and, and the pump so i uh, appreciate the support guys like comment subscribe to this video and we'll catch you on the next one take it easy <laughs>